Uh, hello, my name is Lighton Piri, and I'm going to give a talk titled Improved Discoverability of Digital Objects in Institutional Repositories Using Controlled Vocabularies. This research was done in collaboration with colleagues and uh, students from the University of Zambia. Uh, the University of Zambia is located in the Republic of Zambia. Uh, the Republic of Zambia will be the green patch on the current slide. <coughs> A bit of marketing, I am a part of a research group at the University of Zambia that we uh, call the Data Lab Research Group. And we primarily conduct research in three main areas. So we conduct research in the fields of data mining, digital libraries, and technology enhanced learning. <coughs> we do encourage you to visit our website. Um, we're always keen to collaborate with other researchers out there that may be interested in the sort of work that we do. So I'll start off by motivating for why we conducted um, this research and I'll talk a bit more about the problem we're attempting to address before I dive into the details of what we what we did. In the recent past there's been an exponential growth in the amount of scholarly research output that is generated. And this can easily be determined by doing a quick search in either one of the most popular academic databases such as Google Scholar or indeed Microsoft Academic Search. Um, what we see though is a corresponding increase in the uh, scholarly research that is generated by higher education institutions. So higher education institutions will typically use so-called institutional repositories to make available scholarly output that is uh, produced or that they produce. And institutional repositories are a type of digital library and their core function is to uh, facilitate uh, archive of scholarly research output um, and subsequently uh, facilitating effective access to the content. Due to the exponential growth in the amount of scholarly research output, uh, effective discoverability is crucial and it turns out that metadata or information that is used to describe scholarly research output is a crucial ingredient in facilitating effective discoverability of, uh, of such digital content. However, we, we see that there are a number of inconsistencies that are associated with uh, this sort of descriptive metadata. Our particular interest was on a uh, specific type of metadata element, um, 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 more specifically so-called subject headings that are associated with these digital objects. Uh, in the case of the University of Zambia, we see a situation where there's a lack of use of uh, controlled subject headings. Um, so if you look at the red bounding box in the current slide here, those four entries are ideally supposed to be associated to, uh, to one subject. Uh, and, and not four separate subjects. Uh, the other thing we see here is uh, the sheer lack of use of subject-specific or discipline-specific subject headings. So case in point here, if you look at uh, computer science research, um, the de facto standard that is used to tag um, computer science research is the SCM CCS concept. Um, but what we see with the University of Zambia here is uh, uh, computer-centric, computer science-centric uh, content is actually tagged with uh, generic subject headings. Uh, more specifically, the Library of Congress subject headings are used to um, specify subjects um, in the University of Zambia Institution Repository. So what we did was we set out to conduct uh, a situation analysis initially uh, to understand the full extent of this problem. Um, and then we uh, interacted with faculty staff to determine an appropriate way of identifying subject specific controlled vocabularies that would integrate with the repository. We then conducted a comparative study in order to um, assess the effectiveness of using controlled vocabularies in the Invest of Zambia IR. And then finally, we implemented a multi-label subject classification model um, that would be used to automatically predict subjects associated with uh, digital objects in the repository. <coughs> So we, as part of the situation analysis, we automatically harvested uh, descriptive Dublin Core encoded metadata from three repositories. So we harvested descriptive metadata from the Network Digital Library of Thesis and Dissertation Union Catalog, um, from the Invest of Cape Town uh, Computer Science Document Archive, and of course from the Invest of Zambia Institution Repository. And the idea was to use this metadata to analyze um, uh, subjects that were associated with digital objects in these portals or platforms. The uh, interviews were conducted with seven faculty uh, staff uh, 
to identify appropriate controlled vocabularies. Um, and prior to conducting the usability study, two uh, DSPACE powered institutional repositories were set up um, with the intervention integrated with uh, controlled vocabularies um, and the baseline IR uh, not integrated with any controlled vocabulary. The usability study was conducted as a within subject um, study, uh, which saw 50 participants uh, participate in the study. In the case of the multi level subject classifier, this was implemented by using titles and, and abstracts as input features. Um, and more specifically, we used uh, a data set from the uh, computer. Uh, or the computing research repository data set uh, from the archive uh, platform. <clears throat> so in terms of the results here, what we, what we saw with the situation analysis is a situation where uh, internal policy was used uh, to determine the maximum number of subjects that would be uh, associated to digital objects. Um, uh, and interestingly enough, we also saw a situation where subject headings were only sparingly used. Uh, so, for instance, um, over 90% of tags were only associated with one publication. Um, and, and then, of course, uh, there was no domain-specific subject heading that was used, but rather uh, the Generic Library of Congress subject heading was used to uh, specify subjects um, to digital objects in the Invest of Zambia Institution Repository. Um, an, an interesting observation here is that uh, this problem that we see with the Invest of Zambia Institution Repository uh, manifests itself in, in, in other repositories out there. So an analysis of the uh, Network Digital Library of Thesis and Dissertation Union Catalog um, indicates that uh, uh, subject headings are only sparingly used. Uh, we see a, a similar pattern in the uh, Invest of Zambia Computer Science Document Archive as outlined in the current slide. <coughs> Uh, in the case of the comparative study, um, we, we, we see that there was a, uh, a preference in the uh, IR that was integrated with uh, controlled vocabularies. So the vast majority of participants highly rated the uh, intervention institutional repository. Um, if you further analyze the SAS bands, we see a sort of situation where um, the vast majority of participants seem to highly rate um, the intervention uh, IR as opposed to the baseline IR. Um, the multi-level uh, classification model was eventually uh, implemented using the uh, SGD classifier. Um, and we, we, we saw a situation where um, using uh, TFIDF as opposed to 10 frequencies resulted in um, a, a high performing model. The validation was done using the validation of the model was done using the uh, uh, computer science document archive, and what we see is a sort of situation where the model, uh, when compared with the manual subjects that are tagged with uh, digital objects in the document archive, um, resulted in uh, more digital objects being tagged with uh, appropriate subjects. So as an example here, this slide just showcases a, it showcases a, uh, an example object that was uh, previously tagged with Library of Congress subject headings um, being associated with uh, appropriate computer science-centric uh, subjects. Incidentally, archive content uh, is tagged uh, using internal subjects and also uh, SCMCCS concepts. Um, uh, and so because the data was, was trained using Using this data set, um, the prediction actually results in subjects that are associated with archive centric uh, tags and also um, uh, SCMCCS concepts. Um, we so, in conclusion, we see that integrating IRs with subject controlled vocabularies is a potential of complementing self archiving um, and with the obvious benefit of ensuring that uh, uh, discoverability of content in IRs is uh, effective. Um, there are a number of avenues for potential future work here. Um, using this approach could pretty much uh, uh, clean up uh, existing uh, 
uh, metadata associated with objects in the uh, UNSA institutional repository. This is a, a process that we've already initiated. Um, we're also working towards implementing uh, subject classification models for other subject specific controlled vocabularies, seeing as the focus here was on just uh, computer science centric uh, research. And of course, uh, this approach could be applied to other repositories, large scale repositories out there, such as the Network Digital Library of Thesis and Dissertation. Thank you very much. Um, I look forward to having um, a conversation around uh, the sort of work that we did. Good day.